imagine you are advanced in age, yet you cannot read and write, especially at a time when all those around you, including your own children, can exhibit such skill with ease. Uh, will you take an offer to study under such circumstances, knowing the possible stigmatization that could come along with accepting the offer? Well, in the town of Weija, a 63-year-old woman and other adults are taking lessons with passion. They are least perturbed about comments that they are too old to study. Uh, Join us is Joseph Akable has the rest of the story. How are you? We are fine. Thank you. I'm also doing well. Now, today, we are going to look at, at this. It says, cool like any other. Its classroom has a blackboard, decks for students, as well as course materials. Even I tell my, my son that, uh, one of my daughter that, uh, I'm, I'm come to learn. And he said that you are age that, uh, now we are, I say yes. When I sit, I sit to lit, uh, look after you, when you grow, finish your school, now you to. I'm coming to collect chalk money for you <laughs> to come to school. It's never too late. That's the idea motivating this three-year-old Sarah Esi, a mother of two who wants to be able to express herself in a quaint language. Sarah and her classmates are here each day taking lessons from basic arithmetic to English rhymes. If you calculate like uh -huh. uh, 3 plus 9, uh -huh. why are you not going to put all the 12? Why are they going put all the 12 years? Yes. Yes. The good is better, and my better best. Very good, then drum. Drum, drum, the message afar. Learning to read and write. It's a typical classroom situation, except these are adults. While they are at it, some of the children whose school facilities the adults are using are busy playing football on a compound. Their headmaster, Techi Kodam, explains why he decided to allow the use of the school. And they also need the knowledge. And the, there's the agency looking at the people, the mothers, the fathers, the brothers and sisters who are out there so ignorant of what is happening. So there was a clear call to listen to them. I gave this facility over a year for free, nothing. Back in the classroom, Reverend Joseph Yamwa is focused on his students. He tells me how brilliant they are. Well, I'm not facing problem over here at all. I, actually, I'll give the student over the 80%, I'll give these people 70%. But I'm looking at the standard and how they get my teachings as uh, uh, early and then quick, I'm, 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 I'm amazing. Fact, I'm amazing. What could motivate an elderly person whose children are in school to want to be educated, especially at a time when they are far advanced in age? I just want to learn, that, uh, to help them. There is a time I'm not feeling happy in the house. So if I come to the class, I feel happy. And I, also, I send uh, my, I have two kids. One is a boy and one is a girl. They are all teachers. So, I tell them that <laughs> I, I want to help myself. So, yes. But uh, earlier you said that uh, you used to attend school, but you stopped at JHS 1. Uh, why did you stop? Oh, my father was dead. In my, my father and my, my mother was dead. So I just stayed with some people. Yeah, but so far, how do you find the lessons here? What are you learning? Are you impressed with what you are learning? Oh, it's fine for me that even I tell my, my son that uh, one of my daughter that uh, I'm, I'm come to learn. And he said that you are age that uh, now we are I say yes. When I sit, I sit to look after you when you grow, finish your school. Now, you two, I'm going to collect chalk money for you <laughs> to come to school. I'm happy because now even I can learn with my children now, so I'm happy for that.
Are you able to assist them with their assignments when they bring them? Yes, even they help me too. Sometimes I help them. Uh, the first time you told your husband you were coming over for this kind of class, uh, what was his reaction? Well, she was happy because my husband likes reading books and even always she fights with me that I don't like reading books. So the moment I told him, he was happy about that because always in the evening, the time he would come from work, we were reading. I was doing my homework, the children too was doing their own, so he was happy about that. Okay. Uh, so I guess you can read a bit of what you have in front of you okay. first. Okay. So. Where is the, where is the bag? The bag is on the table. Where is the book? The book is on the bag. I need a pen. The pen is also inside the bag. Very interesting uh, one there reading uh, bits and pieces of that passage and uh, questions and answers in the book as well. Uh, like you can guess, uh, you're never too old to study and there are these individuals here are taking advantage of the opportunity being offered by Engage Now Africa to receive some education, hopefully to improve upon the understanding of the language. More importantly, not just about reading and writing, but some arithmetic, uh, which is important and an integral aspect of everyday life, uh, for which reason uh, they have decided to take part in this. Uh, reporting for Joy News from the Wager DAJHS, not the regular school, but the adult class. My name is Joseph Akable. Age is indeed just a number.